So the scripture for today is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 58, and it reads, And Peter was following him at a distance. And the meditation is the following. Peter was following, but this following led to his denial because he was following at a distance. He distanced himself from Christ, and this was the beginning of all the evil. He fell behind, and there was too much distance between him and the teacher. He felt a certain desire to be close. He was following him, but not sufficiently closely. In just the same way in our days, many follow Christ. They do not leave him completely. They do not cross over to the side of the unbelievers, but they are not closely connected with him. They do not follow him step by step. They follow at a distance. How many people embrace earthly cares and worldly pleasures and because of that lose contact with Christ. They are too preoccupied with various things and approach Christ only by custom on Sunday, but lose sight of him during the week. Their prayers become less frequent and shorter. They stop studying the word of God. Their faith cools and everything spiritual becomes a dead letter. Only in appearance they still follow Christ, but in practice they are far from him and close to complete denial. So let us ask ourselves how we are following Christ. Is it with zeal and love, or are we lagging behind like Peter, distracted by extraneous things? This path is always dangerous, the one who today distances himself from Christ is in danger tomorrow of completely denying the Savior. And how many bitter tears this will cost, how much harm will come both to oneself and others.